To Ukraine now, where two American fighters are missing, reportedly captured. Their families are asking for help as President Biden pledges another billion dollars in military aid. Our foreign correspondent, James Longman, is in Ukraine with the very latest. James, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, TJ. The leaders of France, Germany and Italy are all in Kyiv this morning for talks with President Zelensky. He'll be asking them to speed up the pace of weapons deliveries. Meanwhile, there is growing concern for these two American veterans who are thought to have been fighting alongside Ukraine in this war, who may now have been captured by Russia. This morning, the families of two American veterans who've gone missing in Ukraine are calling for them to be brought home. 39-year-old Alexander Druki and 27-year-old Andy Huynh both volunteered to fight alongside the Ukrainian military. But there are now unconfirmed reports that the two may have been captured by Russian forces in the Kharkiv region. The Biden administration says they're aware of the reports and are closely monitoring the situation. If it's true, we'll do everything we can to, to, uh, to get them uh, safely back home. Now their families just want them home. Huynh's fiancé telling ABC News he joined the Ukrainians to make a difference. <laughs> We just really want him back. I mean, he's got such a big heart. He knew that he knew this wasn't the easy thing, but this was the right thing. And sorry, he just uh, even though not great things have happened, I'm still really, really proud of him. Alex Druki's mother says Alex went to Ukraine to stop Russia. He was concerned that Putin may want to expand further west if he took Ukraine. He uh, wanted to go over and help train the Ukrainian soldiers and show them how to use the, uh, the equipment that the um, U.S. has been sending over there for them. This comes as President Biden announced the largest U.S. military aid commitment to Ukraine so far. The new aid package including more howitzer artillery systems, much-needed rocket ammunition and new harpoon anti-ship weapons. President Zelensky thanked the U.S. for the aid. Saying, I'm grateful for this support. It's especially important for our defense in Donbass. Now, the show of unity from these European leaders today will be welcomed here in Ukraine, but it's really more weapons commitments that they really want. They face a real uphill struggle here in the Donbass. Amy? Yeah, that scene behind you speaks volumes. James Longman, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.